So let's do another super basic cooking skills video. Easy meal that the whole family loves but is on plan. Simple, simple. Pound and a half of ground beef. You can use, I use about 91%. It works well. It's not super high in fat, but it's not super lean so it doesn't dry out. Add a fair amount of salt. You need salt. This is basically going to be like meatloaf in a pan is what I call it. I just call it hamburger patties, but it's not just hamburgers. It's more flavorful. I make this all the time. It's basically meatloaf in a pan. It's quick and easy. So I'm gonna put one egg in there, just a little splash of cream, pull it together. And this is a binder, a little um, baking blend just to hold it together. You don't need a ton. Traditional meatloaf you would use um, breadcrumbs or something like that. I just don't bother. That way the whole family can eat this and I'm just adding a simple binder to hold it together. I like to mix it up with my hand because it makes super special noises when you do it. Let's get our pan hot. Just want your pan. I put it up right on high. This is going to have a nice mushroom kind of sauce on it when it's done. So I just form like good sized patties. I don't even worry if they're round because does it matter? No, they're not going in burger buns. You don't want them too thick because you don't want them to take all night to cook. Just form a patty, slap it in there. I know there's like rules. Let your pan heat up first, all that jazz. This is a pretty cheap meal too, if you're watching your budget, if ground beef is on sale anyway. Some days ground beef is way overpriced. This was 380 a pound, so that's not too terrible. So we will fit them all in my pan. I'm gonna squeeze them pretty close together because they're gonna shrink as you cook them and the fat cooks out of them. And I am not gonna throw that fat away. I'm not gonna drain it. I'm gonna cook my mushrooms in it. Cause that fat, makes for a delicious gravy. My watch thinks I'm washing my hands. All right. All slapped in there. There, thrown in the pan. We'll come back in probably eight or 10 minutes and flip them over and I'll show you what they look like. Okay, it's been about eight minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and Flip over my meat loaves, my pan loaves. I don't know what you want to call them. They basically look like burgers. Misshapen, sloppy made burgers. Okay, we'll let them go about another eight minutes on this side and then I'm going to start, I will take them out of the pan and start my mushroom sauce. So I'll come back and show you what that's like. Okay, so my patties are done. I'm just gonna take them out and sit them on some paper towel to kind of drain while I make the sauce. This, they may not be cooked in the middle yet and that's okay because I'm gonna, they're gonna continue to cook more when I make the sauce. So I've got um, about a pound of fresh mushrooms that I've rinsed off, whoops, losing one on the floor. I am throwing them right in with the fat that's in there and I'm actually gonna add a little extra fat. That's my butter. A teaspoon or so of butter, just a little extra fat. And I'm gonna cook those down for probably, probably six or eight minutes until they really start to shrink up. I am gonna add some salt. And then I'll come back and show you how I make the sauce. All right, so my mushrooms are really well browned. They're looking 
awesome. I like to get mine super well browned because that's when they taste good. They soak up all that fat I put in there. And then I'm gonna pour in probably, I'd say, almost a quart of broth. You can put chicken broth, you can put beef broth. I put chicken because it's what I had in my fridge that was already open. That's how I determined what to use. And then I'm gonna put some tomato sauce in there because when you put tomato sauce and chicken broth together, you get super rich flavor that is delicious when it cooks down and splattered all over the stove. And then I'm gonna add a little extra butter to that as well. And by little, I mean a fair amount. Cause it's gonna taste good on my skillet loaf. All right, like three tablespoons and a chunk of the wrapper cause that adds some good extra flavor. Okay, now I'm gonna let this cook again and I'm just gonna let this cook until it reduces. And when it reduces, I'm going to take these skillet loaves and put them in the pan and let them soak up some of the flavor probably gonna take another 10 minutes or so. I'm gonna go sit down and look at Instagram while it cooks. Okay, so it's been simmering for about probably 10 minutes or so. And about eight minutes in, I take that back. It was probably 10 minutes. And then I put the hamburgers in, back in, the skillet loaves. I put them back in and I've let it simmer for the last probably seven minutes or so. And so now I have this really rich, really thick yummy sauce no thickener needed nothing it's thickened on its own it's going to taste fabulous with these loaves all right i'm gonna come back show you what it looks like put together on a plate okay so here's what i've got i've got meatloaf i guess we're calling it skillet loaf skillet meatloaf i don't know what we're calling it we're calling it rich savory and delicious that's what we're calling it tilson says skillet loaf so for me i've got some delicata squash that i've steamed you know i eat it pretty much every day right now while it's in season because once it's gone i'll miss it so i've got some literally just steamed until tender, mashed up, super easy. I could have a side salad with it if I wanted, but I'm not super hungry tonight. So I've got my skillet, my pan meatloaf, my skillet loaf and mushrooms with that really rich sauce. That sauce permeated through that meatloaf. It's savory, rich, delicious, and perfect on plan S. So there you go. That's how I manipulated it for both family members. Marin has the same thing. Twice baked potato for him. Delicata squash for me. I hope this was helpful. Simple dinner. It takes a little time to make, but the steps are super, super easy. I mean, in less than, say, probably beginning to end, I had 45 minutes. I had supper on the table. So, okay. I'll see you next time.